Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. Uh, welcome to the Humbugs at the Met, my continuing story about bugs that take over the Metropolitan Museum in New York. Um, and the story has gotten us to the point that we know they are trying to, the bad bugs, the bad guys are trying to steal a Monet. Um, and the good bugs are um, now deploying a art forger who is in disguise as a bad guy. Uh, this is the art forger right here. His name is, um, let's see, I already forgot. Jose. I've got too many characters going on in my head. Jose. And um, speaking of heads, there's one of there. I try to keep it out of the way. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, this is just a piece of moleskin caille that I painted on with uh, jelly gouache. And I am using that as kind of a backdrop to the colors I'm trying to add to the um, character of Jose, the art forger. And we know they are stealing a Monet. And we know now that Jose is going to be, well, you will know, he is going to be hiding a tracking device in all the Monets. Because we don't know which one they're stealing yet. So today's story is... Jose the Forger hides a tracking device in the fake Monet. Or is it somewhere else? That is why there is artwork from the tomb of Chancellor Neferia from Egypt in 2280 to 2252 BC. Or is it in the presentation of Christ in the temple from the Byzantine era, era 5th century to 1453 AD? Um, I added a little tiny piece of washi tape that has a tiny little bit of a pin by the character of Jose because he is an art forger. Well, he's an artist and he's forging a art piece now for the bad guys, the hums, to put in a um, piece of art that we can track the, the art for wherever the good guys can track the art. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little complicated. Maybe too complicated. Now you know why I don't write stories. Why I think I can do this sometimes is beyond me. Um, but I know I am having fun. And I know this is a good way for me to learn different eras of art. Uh, even though I've been to the Metropolitan seven or eight times. Um, I still love it. I still want to go desperately. But the numbers in South Carolina are absolutely absolutely astronomical. Um, we went from about six weeks ago to tw two people in our biggest hospital in the Columbia area to now the intensive care unit is full. Um, they do have room to expand, but they don't have the staff and they don't have the respirators or the ventilators, the ventilators. Um, the doctor that lives next door to us had to wait two days for one of his patients to get one. That is the average weight right now for a ventilator at the biggest hospital in the capital of South Carolina. Um, there is a big, two bigger hospitals. I think MUSC in Charleston is bigger, and there's a hospital in Greenville that's bigger, and they're all under the same conditions. Um, it's astronomical that this is all stemming from people believing political lies from a previous campaign that was governing our country. Um, our country's in bad shape right now. <laughs> bad, bad shape. Because still people refuse. Uh, the girl that works with my husband, the woman that works with my husband, her daughter is quarantined. She has been exposed. They've been in school for a week. Uh, the schools here are crazy, crazy, crazy. A third of her class is at home right now. They refuse so far to put the kids back home um, for their safety because it violates their human rights, according to the parents. The parents. Uh, the lady that works with my husband was supposed to be in court with him today. She can't go. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it's astronomical. It just blows my mind. And I'm trying not to be political, but it stemmed from political lies from the previous administration of this country. And the people believed them. And therefore, our country is in a mel of a hess in many ways because of things that happened in our previous administration. Sorry if you don't feel like I do. 
Uh, but it's the truth. Um, we got a horrible letter yes, day before yesterday from our Senator Lindsey Graham, who is one of Trump's buddies, and begging for money because we cannot have these horrible people in the administration much longer or they're going to ruin our country. Like, uh, no, uh, your administration ruined our country. This has nothing to do with Monet and bugs at the Metropolitan. I'm so sorry. It's just so frustrating. That's why I didn't video yesterday. It's just sad and frustrating and sad and frustrating. And oh, by the way, so sad. Um, people are dying. Another guy in our church died. But we still have Monet and we still have bugs and we're going to be here again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. and Be safe and be smart and be kind to one another. Goodbye.